everybody. Welcome to GrowCoach.com. We're just having a quick look. Uh, I don't know if anybody checked out our mushroom farming video from last, it was about two weeks ago. And we put together our little greenhouse here. We're using it indoors, indoor temperatures just right. And we just sat in our, our, our logs that we purchased and away we go. They start producing. So this is only two weeks later and we have mushrooms. So the yellow uh, oyster mushrooms there and we also have blue oysters and I'm just going to open up this zipper if I can one handed one footed and one handed there we go so you can have a peek sneak peek Oh, there we go. That's the yellow oyster mushroom. What a beautiful thing. That's gonna be delicious. Wow, eh? Pretty cool. And down here, this is a little foggy. This is the blue oyster mushroom. It's just, it's just exploded. It almost doubled in size just last night. So pretty cool. And over here is the lion's mane mushroom which hasn't they're much slower to grow so it's not done anything yet but I'm pretty sure it'll be doing something very soon so looking forward to that and uh, yeah we're gonna be eating mushrooms very soon so there you go alrighty so uh, just wanted to show you that I better keep this thing closed we're looking at trying to keep as close to a hundred percent humidity as possible and that's what these little greenhouses, that's really what they're perfect for indoors is growing mushrooms. And uh, the mushrooms can produce spores if you leave them go too long, especially. And so uh, in that case, sometimes you have to put in a little uh, ventilation fan, like up in, the, up in the top or in the back part of it, and then vent it right outside. And then what that does is uh, definitely uh, gets the spores straight outside rather than having them in the house but uh in this location this is exactly what this room is for is for growing a few of our plants and uh, getting things started and then we can move them outside as soon as the temperature is right so it's fun to have your own growing room that's for sure and we have our brugmansias in the corner with some grow lights on them keeping them just barely alive for the winter but uh, as soon as we hit about the, well, 15th of May, then we'll be kicking them outside and they're going to have to get used to living outside again. So there you go. And there are orchid cactuses and dragon fruits in the background here. So kind of cool. We'll be talking more about that as the season progresses. But that's it for today. I just wanted to give you an update that the mushroom farm is a success. And I'll be showing you the logs as well that we have uh, outside. And I'll be giving you progress updates on those as well. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to GrowCoach.com.